What's going on guys? It's Lego Lego PC doing uh you always probably wondered why I say Lego PC. It's a habit. It's my gamer tag handle. But it's actually Lego. I go everything by Lego. Anyways, what do we got? We got a review today. Uh actually something I wanted to start off with real quick is I want to start doing like what I want to call in episodes. Episodes. And the plan on that is uh, you won't get just a review, you'll get some talk about what's going on in the world, what I've recently purchased, stuff like that, what I'm drinking, what I'm doing, and then we'll do a review and you know, we, we might do multiple reviews is the plan. So um, today would be episode one, it's something I want to do every single week and then also we'll include random reviews um, on top of the episode. So. Um, first things first, uh, I'm checking back in after two weeks because I have been doing um, overnights and uh, I'm sure you guys are aware of that if you saw my last video. Uh, I probably look really, really tired right now. I'm not sure. I probably do. I, I've, I'm, I'm on about four hours of sleep. Um, I did my last overnight and then woke back up at 10 o'clock today. So I um, figured I'd knock this one out. I do have a couple reviews to do lined up already on queue. So uh, I do want to knock this one out as soon as possible. Uh, I know you guys have been waiting. It's been a while since I popped one up here. Um, number two, the um, audio settings I have. Everything on my laptop does not recognize external mics when I plug them in. So um, until I find an external mic that works, you're going to have to deal with the ambience noise, which is a pain in the ass. I know uh, there's not much I can do about it. Uh, I would love to, but unfortunately, it has not been super helpful. So um, that is something I'm working on. I'll let you guys know when that comes through. Uh, I have started day drinking. It is 1 o'clock. Uh, I woke up a little bit ago, watched my YouTube videos. I bought uh, a lot of beer over the last weekend. And uh, Benny's does a pickup at store option now. You can order everything and then go pick up the store once they give it for you. It's actually really, really cool. Um, and they carry Pipeworks, which is um, one of the beers I'll probably be doing in a video soon. It's a local Chicago beer. It's probably my favorite company right now. Uh, everything I've tried from them has been fantastic. So um, this is beer that I just spilled on myself. Um, 21st Amendment Brewery, Hell or High Watermelon. Let's pretend that never happened. So we'll get that. Let me see if I can get that in cam. Uh, pretty cool can. i uh, sorry, I cut my finger pretty badly the other day. But uh, yeah, I like the can actually. I really do. Um, so real quick, if we go over to Beer Advocate, uh, I don't think this one's super highly rated. Um, it's just something I really wanted to try. And it's actually really, really refreshing. Real refreshing beer. So we go to... Um, Let's see, we go to search, hell or high watermelon, that'll probably pop up right away. I'm sure it will. There it is, hell or high watermelon, all right. So uh, BA score is 76, which is okay, and the bros give it an 81, which is good. So um, it's got it's either, either people love it, I see 4.26, 3.5, and a 4.6, and then I see a 1.7 and a 2.3. So you either love it or you hate it. Um, anyways, it's a real refreshing beer for me. It's like a beer like I would sit outside, mow the lawn, and drink it. And it's uh, just a real nice wheat beer with a low alcohol content. I think it's under 5%. It's a 4.9, so excuse me. Um, it's just something I could chill on and enjoy. And it has like a little bit of a spring watermelon taste afterwards. Good. That's good. It's good stuff. That's what I'm drinking today. Um, my favorite right now has been Pipeworks. Uh, I believe it's Unicorn vs. Ninja or Ninja vs. Unicorn. Try pipe works. Ninjas vs. Unicorns. There we go. So that is my favorite beer by Pipeworks right now, and I keep at least one bottle of it in my fridge at all times. Um, and it has a BA score of 95, which is a world class beer. Uh, it's a double Imperial IPA. Um, or they call it an American Double Slash Imperial IPA with about 9% alcohol. Uh, 
this is by far the smoothest IPA I've ever drank in my life, and I absolutely am obsessed with it. Um, let me just say that right now. Uh, so that's beer right now. What's going on Reddit? Nothing special. The new rumor now is that smoke M80s are blowing up. Um, I don't think... There's two posts. That's that's all I've seen is two posts about it, and I haven't seen other than that one who posted a picture. Um, so let's just go over this real quick, guys. Uh, number one, lipo battery safety. If you're charging your device, please do not, do not walk away from the room. Do not be a far distance from the room. Do not charge it overnight. Do not charge it and leave the house. Be near your battery at all times. In case all of a sudden you hear your coil erupting, you can go, oh, I'll just unplug it and take the coil off. Um, you can you know, solve a lot of potential hazards by doing that. So um, let's just get that clear. These are LiPo batteries. They are can be potentially dangerous. Um, treat them with the most utter respect possible. Uh, let's go over that right now, and um, that's really the last I want to talk about it. Unless something else pops up again, that's really just the last I'm going to talk about. It. I'm, I'm tired of talking about this stuff. Um, it happens to two people, and next thing you know, again, it's a it's a witch hunt on Reddit, and I just I can't do it anymore. So, uh, what the actual review is today? Moving on, um, the review is going to be of the Arctic, the Arctic tank, uh, which I have right here, which I am filling up. With um, I know I always gonna say I I always say I'm gonna do juice reviews. I'm actually gonna do juice reviews. I promise. Uh, I ordered four new juice lines, um, which are all coming by next Wednesday, and then we'll start doing juice reviews. Uh, something else I wanted to do is um, I know I, I say a lot in my videos. Oh, you've seen my coil builds. You know, go look in the the old videos. I'm actually going to do a couple coil builds, uh, coil builds and wicking tutorials. It seems to be the, um, you know, a lot of new vapors are coming out there. They don't understand that stuff. So I will be working on stuff like that. It seems like it's, uh, it could be very beneficial to the community. So um, that is something I will be working on. I'm also going to start posting most of the stuff on Reddit. So if you miss me on uh, on YouTube, you can if you check through Electronic Cigarette Reddit. You'll see me on there. Um, if people downvote me, they downvote me. It is what it is. I'm just trying to help. That's all I'm doing. I don't make many money off this. I just do this for fun. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to help. That's all this. So, the Arctic. The Arctic Cellone Tank. This is one of the first ones I received. Um, I've actually had this one for quite a while. Uh, I had been waiting for new coils to come in because the coils I received were pretty janky, to be honest. Um, the first one, I couldn't go above 45. Um, 45 watts before it would start getting burnt hits. And I'm reading people should be able to do 80. And I... I didn't like it at all whatsoever, so I just held off on it. And I got a new set of coils here. Um, here are the 0.5 ohms. Uh, these are 0.5 ohms, double turbine dual coil crap, whatever the hell they say. Let's see if I get to focus, maybe. There we go. So that's what it looks like on the back. So those are coils. Those cost me, I believe, $17.99. Or $16.99 for a five pack. Um, the coil heads do last about two to three weeks, um, depending on the quality of them. Most of them last them about that long. Um, let's take a vape. Man, that took forever to ramp up. It was only 50 watts, that's why. <clears throat> Turn that up. So, the Arctic tank. Let's go over some of the specs and stuff real quick. Uh, I believe I purchased off e Sigity for $33.99 is what the price is now. I don't believe that was the price when I bought it. I believe it was closer to $37. Um, it does have 18 product reviews at five wonderful stars. Uh, statistic wise, thank you. Um, e Sigity post right at the front. Please make sure your mod can handle some ohm before purchasing. Yes, please do that. Um, the coil that comes with the atomizer is a 0.2 and a 0.5. That is correct. Um, I think I used the 0.5. I think I have a 0.2 left. Oh, mine came with 2.5s. That or I used the 0.2 already. Um, it says these are rated for 30 to 80 watts. 
And that's what it says here. I mean, this coil just looks janky. It looks janky. It does. Uh, I, I don't like that coil at all. Um, made of 304 stainless steel and Pyrex glass, 100% organic cotton, 100% canthal, 3 milliliter juice capacity. It's more like 2.7. Um, four 3 millimeter airflow holes and comes with two P BTDC bottom turbine dual coils. It's just a fancy say name for saying um, parallel bottom coils. Um, what else? Is there anything else? That's really it. That's about it. Statistic wise, um, the device looks wise, it's not a bad looking tank. I'm not a big fan of the divots on the top right here. Um, I don't know. Could have done a better machine quality job, I guess. It's, it's not my favorite looking tank, but it's not a bad looking tank by any means. Um, does have a removable drip tip. It looks super wide bore, but actually, if you look at it, it does condense quite a bit from its actual size right here. Uh, it's not like the Freemax Star, which um, it's wide. And I guess it is similar, but it is a wider bore on the Freemax Star than it is on the um, than it is on the Arctic Tank. Flavor-wise, I'd say these quills are pretty good. Um, they're not. I, I, if I had originally tried this, I would have been like, oh, the flavor is really good. But now having tried like the Freemax Star and the Zephyr, um, those tanks are, it's a whole nother level. Um, vapor production, I would say this is actually a pretty tight draw. It's, it's, um, compared to something like this, um, which is what, do I even know this? Yeah, it's wide open. Yeah, it's definitely tighter um, than that, but like compared to something like the Billow or the Orchid, I mean, it's still way, way loose, way more loose than that, way looser. It's loose enough that you're going to get a long hit every single time. I mean, that's not going to be an issue. Um, the the three mil capacity can be an issue. For example, I took this last night to work and I had to fill it up twice while I was there. Uh, it, it's really more like two, two and a half. Um, the trick is knowing that your coil is actually down here. So your juice, um, let me show you an example. So your Freemax star, you can actually see where the juice fill is right there. There's actually, you can see the cotton. It's right there. I don't know how well it's gonna come out in the camera, but it's right there. Um, you can actually see it through the glass. It's not not a big deal. Um, let's see if we, you can see the top of it. I just saw the top of it. You can see the top of it right directly below my finger. Directly below it. Now, this one you can kind of see the, the cotton down there, but it's way down there. There's actually a metal piece right here that divides the cotton, um, so you won't be able to see it as well. Um, the airflow is stiff, but not too stiff. It's pretty easy to change. It does have four airflow settings all around, all evenly distributed. Um, pretty basic. Uh, the coils. When you come to the coils, you actually have a few options. We have bottom turbine dual coils and bottom turbine coils. So for the dual coils, we do have 0.2 ohms, which are rated at 30 to 100 watts. 0.5s, which are rated at 30 to 80 watts, which is what these are. Um, the regular single coils, the 0.2s are 20 to 50, the 0.5s are 20 to 40, and the 1.2s are 10 to 25. They also state on the back of these about um, amps and what are required for certain coils, which is pretty cool. Uh, I appreciate that they put those down. Um, let's see if I can get this out. So coils look like normal coils, not a big deal. Um, I have not tried to see if they're interchangeable with the Freemax Star. I mean, yes, we could take a look. Did I save a coil? No, I threw out my Freemax Star coils. Well, I guess we can't try that. Um, Arctic wise, it comes in a cool little box, just like the boxes of the Freemax Star, and I believe the Meganis, and um, all of them pretty much come in that cool little box. Uh, it does come with some special O-rings just in case your stuff starts to fall apart. It comes with the two coils. 
I don't believe this came with an extra tank. No, it did not come with an extra tank, um, which eh, it's not a big deal. I'm not careless with my stuff. I'm very meticulous on where I put it. It's always sitting down right next to me. Um, so this doesn't fall a lot or anything like that. If you're somebody who drops your mod a lot, this might be something you want to um, buy an extra replacement class for. Um, the only uh, downside to the actual look of the device is the drip tip is steel so of course you do get your lip gunk on it quite a bit um, I also think the drip tip is a little wide I, I, you know Phil talks about this all the time I don't like sticking really big things in my mouth just uh, you know something I don't like personally um, but you know to each his own I guess um, the draw is not restrictive, but it's restrictive enough that it gives you a nice lung hit. You could also do a mouth of it if you really wanted to. And it produced enough vapor to cover up my computer. So uh, there isn't going to be a diving up close on this because there isn't really much to go over. Um, what I'll do is I'll screw off the mod real quick. Um, it's a hefty little device. You can tell it's made out of pretty nice quality. Um, let's zoom up here. Find the zoom button here. So, um, what we got here is your four air hole rings. And you can see they spin pretty. I feel like weird with this band aid here. It's driving me nuts. I can't help it. Um, so it spins pretty easily, but it's very it's very tight, so it's not going to uh, move on you while you're using it or anything like that. Um, what you're going to want to do when you unscrew it is you're going to want to here. Let's just zoom up a little bit more. Okay. Um, what you're going to want to do is hold this piece right here because you don't want to unscrew the actual device as well with the bottom here, because you could take apart the tank completely. Okay, make sure juice isn't spilling all over the place. So this does come apart pretty easily, so you don't want to be careful when you're pulling off the atomizer. Um, let's set that aside for now. Very simple, you're gonna fill it from the side right here. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. There's the little fill side. It's identical on the other side. It allows you to put a nozzle tip in there, or you can take a syringe and it easily fits right in there. Not an issue, very simple. Um, nothing special, nothing really special to go over here with sub own tank wise. Um, it's if you when you really break it down, it's really simple. There's the shaft, it runs all the way down to the drip tip. You've got a tank that's sealed here um, with a couple o rings and some threading. Now, when you come to the base, here is what your coil looks like. Let's see if we can get a shot of what it looks like. There we go. Uh, mine's actually a little dirty. You see that top strand right there on the top? It's dirty, and I don't know what that's from. It's only that piece. If you look further down, it's actually pretty white inside. Um, very weird. I, I don't know. Focus back on me. Focus. Focus. Maybe. All right, so what we got here. Yeah, the camera's over here. Uh, there's the base inside. Very simple, like most sub tanks. Nothing special here. Okay. Um, coil wise, take the coil out. That's what it looks like on the inside. So you got a parallel coil in there. Well, parallel coils in there, and. Um, You've got Cogendo cotton all the way around them. You've got big uh, juice channels right there, I guess you would call them. Um, they're very large, and then it says BTDC and what the coil is rated for. Um, pretty basic, so let's back this back out a little bit. Okay, um, so. Pretty basic. If you've never used a, any type of Clearo, um, maybe you don't know how to do this, but I'm assuming most of you guys started on Clearos. Um, I started on Clearos. Everybody's pretty much used a Clearo at some point. So the basic premise is your airflow is going to come in through these little notches right here, which of course I zoomed out. Now you can't see it as well, but there's these little notches right there. 
the air comes in, it's going to hit the coil, go straight up the shaft, and that's how you get your vapor. So this is real basic. You just take your base, you take your coil, and you screw it on. Um, nothing mind-blowing here. Uh, something to note, mine has come lightly unscrewed if I don't screw it all the way in. Um, so I always make sure that's screwed all the way in. If you are starting a fresh new coil, you're always going to want to make sure that it is saturated. I am just murmuring constantly and it's probably because I have no sleep at all whatsoever. So I'm going to drink a beer because I feel like that would make me do better. Um, what I am vaping right now is some um, Kang's Strawberry Lemonade from DB Liquids. Review coming soon on a whole bunch of their line, which is right here. Like I said, I ordered a bunch of juice. Um, it's a little bit cheaper for me to review juice, plus there are so many new companies. So I'll work on that. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of juice all around the edge, and then I would wick these channels up real good, make sure I put a lot of juice in there. Okay. And then to fill it, you just take your nozzle, you're gonna stick it down the side of the tank, nothing special, drip, 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 fill it up till where it gets to just to the top of the shaft. I'm having all sorts of zoom problems, there we go. And you would fill it up till it hits just the top of that shaft, which again is not gonna be three mils in my opinion. It's gonna be more like 2.5, 2.7, 2 okay. There we go, that's, I'd say that's about filled. Put that down, put my cap back on, put my cap back on, and then insert. Oh, I caught the threading right away. Take the base, hold the other piece, spin it nice and tight, boom, looks pretty tight to me. Adjust my airflow, and you've got a tank ready to go. So, I don't want to compare it to other tanks because I haven't done reviews on other tanks, so it's not fair. Plus, some of you might not have had other tanks yet. So, there's comparison wise, um, comparing it to rebuildables is probably the best thing I could say. Um, the airflow is very good, very, very good. Um, flavor is good. I wouldn't say it's very good or amazing, uh, but it is, it's good. It's, an, it's actually really, really what I like. It's, um, it's restrictive to the point that you can t get a restrictiveness. Um, it's hard to explain, but like on something like the Star or the Goblin where you can open it up and there is no, it's just sucking in air. That's all you're doing. Just sucking in air. No, let's pretend that didn't happen. You're just sucking in air and uh, that's all you're getting from it. Whereas this is um, a little bit more restrictive. You're getting in a lot of vapor and I do enjoy that vape a little bit more. Um, I do like having a, real, a, a little bit of restrictiveness on my vape, personally. What's awesome is this vape pairs perfectly with this beer. Vapor production, um, let's back up a little bit. You can see it yourself. These subbone tanks, uh, they blow vapor. That's what they do. Uh, they're really good at it. And um, what else can you say? It, they blow good vapor. Uh, I can't complain about that at all whatsoever. So um, it does have really good vapor production. It wicks really well. There's already four bubbles sitting up on the top of my device. So it is wicking really well. Packaging, it's the basic style that you always expect. Coil wise, um, I will say that I've had a couple of good coils. I've had a couple of funky ass coils. Um, so uh, their coils aren't the best in my opinion. Um, it's, it's what I can review is what I have just like I said before. So um, personally the coils are eh. They're okay. Like, uh, excuse me. Blame the beer. Um, they work, but they're not the best. Um, personally, 
I think most of the other coils are a little bit better. The sub tank coils I've purchased and the Freemax Star coils I've purchased have been much, much better. Uh, they also go to higher wattages. Once I go over uh, 60 watts, this does tend to start to burn a little bit. Let's take it up there anyways. Um, 60 watts. <clears throat> and it's a little bit harder to tell if it's burning right now because this is um, this raspberry lemonade or strawberry lemonade is um, it's tart already and it's giving me quite a bit of a throat hit um, I'm actually dropping from six to three now um, but it's hard to tell if it's burned because there's a little bit more of a menthol taste to it it's not burnt if you take shorter pulls um, let's let's jack it up to 65 66 I'm sure it probably won't focus because this camera fucking hates my guts doesn't help that there's just vapor everywhere <clears throat> yeah at like 65 watts it's just one second pulls um, I just whoo throw it hit in the back and it's just like damn okay um, for me I like to take longer pulls so I drop it down to about 50 watts 52 watts um, I like to enjoy the build up and then get that flavor in there but the vapor production is insane um, you can see it all around my room right now it's it's everywhere. The vapor production is crazy. We're going to have fire department here in a minute. Um, but seriously, these sub -owned tanks are good. They're, they're, they're really good. For the price, for $33, um, the coils the coils on average will last you anywhere from, uh, I'd say, roughly about two weeks apiece. So if you buy five coils, it's going to last you a couple months. So for $15 for a couple months, uh, it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good deal. Um, I do notice this guy personally goes through juice. You just saw me fill that up. Look where the juice is already. I just filled that up to the top. Um, so something to mention is, and it's personally I've noticed in this device and not so many of the others where a star's got almost uh, four and a half mils uh, capacity. So maybe I don't notice as much. Uh, I can fill it up once and run all day at work and not have an issue. But I noticed this guy does burn juice. It burns juice. Um, it might have something to do with, we do have a lot of fill ports on that coil, so it probably soaks up a lot of juice. That cotton probably gets really, really wet. Um, that's my only explanation, possibly, but this thing will burn through juice like none other. Um, overall, this thing is really good. I mean, it's, it gives you a really good vape. I have, I still drip. I've been using my Hellboy like crazy. I love the Hellboy. Um, we'll get into that. Uh, in a future review, but uh, the Hellboy has been a blast to me. It's brought drippers back into my life. Uh, that and the Derringer, which, again, we'll have a review on that soon. God, it's such a small little guy. Um, but this dude is just the best. If you want something just to chill at home, you want to sit on your couch and you want to have a device, you don't want to be sitting there over dripping all the time, or I'm playing video games now, I don't want to be sitting there and dripping in between. Um, this, These just work great they just work they do they just work great there's nothing more i can say about the sub ohm tanks um that's the arctic i think it's a really good tank um i don't think it's the best i think it's a good tank um there are better options out there and there's more coming out every single week week uh the tvct i believe just ob by obs came out um i'm hearing that is the new best thing now and the zephyr uh, i'm gonna play with it a little bit more but uh, that has been phenomenal. The new top fill systems have been great. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about those. Um, but I would probably say save your money unless you're a collector of these um, because there are better options out there. That's my wholehearted opinion on it. Um, uh, speaking of better options, um, just throwing that out there. Um, there is a tank for everybody and uh, personally this one has a really good airflow on it um, I just don't think it's the best what else do I got for you so we got a review we talked reddit we talked beer 
think that's it. I think that's all I got for you guys on this video for episode one. Episode one. If it's anything like Star Wars, it's gonna suck. Um. So everything else I want to talk about. I think that's it. So what's incoming for Juice Wise? I've actually got a new company called Butters Juice E Juice, which is coming my way. Uh, Blue Dot Vapors is coming my way. I got DB Liquids in the house. I've got some Animal in the house. Um, and the IPv4, the black IPv4 is is finally shipping next week. Thank freaking God. It's been on pre-order for months. So, uh, we'll finally get to play this little nickel wire. About the 30 gauge and the 28 gauge. I'm actually really, uh, pumped to try this stuff. Let's see how this temperature goes. Um, Beast Box. Probably not going to do a review on this. Uh, it has not been working great for me, and I think the overall quality is shit. Um, so, uh, don't expect a review on it. I don't want to waste your time or my time on this, um, so you probably won't see a review on it. It is cool. It looks cool. I think it looks cool, personally. I think it looks awesome. Um, but I wouldn't waste your time on it. Have not been impressed. Oh, and by the way, my e leaf is doing just fine, right here. Rocking the, been rocking the orchid V6 on it. Great vapor production. Tight draw, but it's it's great vapor production. It's funny because the vapor's causing my camera to go fucking nuts trying to adjust lighting. And I think it's hilarious. It's just like, ah, fuck. Um, we'll have to, we'll, we'll do a build on this one, I think. I think we'll do a build on this one. I think, uh, I think you guys deserve a build and we'll do a build on that one. And I think you guys will enjoy it. But uh, that's all I got for you guys for now. Hopefully more stuff coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, leave comments. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have anything you personally want to see reviewed, I've done it before. Leave a comment and I'll make sure I get back to you or send me a PM. And as always, keep on vaping. Legal PC. Peace.